Well, hello, this is Tom Crandall from Gear Mashers, and today we're taking a look at the Alp Duez or Alp du Zwift in Watopia. And so I just actually discovered it. I didn't realize it was released, and I was riding the jungle route, and I noticed there was a little cutoff to a new route, and I was like, hmm, maybe I'll check that out. You have to be level 12 in order to access it, but you might be able to get on it if you're on a group ride or something and they're using that particular route. Uh, it's a killer climb. The Alpe d'Huez you know, in Tour de France is an uphill finish, and so it's pretty brutal. Uh, if you're wondering what these glasses are, these are from Riders Eyewear. These are the Rome Fires, and they're sort of the top of line cycling glasses. The, the bottom of the frames here are removable, so if you didn't want to have a frame showing at the bottom, uh, you can remove that as well. Uh, the glasses are photochromatic, so they adjust to light changes. Uh, so they'll either get darker or lighter depending on the light conditions. Um, and another sort of neat feature is they come in this little box here. But what's neat about the box is it actually can go flat. So if you're traveling or something like that, it can uh, flatten out. Anyway, uh, I put a review up on GearMasters.com about the glasses, so you can check that out if you like. Um, and I do have a about maybe 20 minute section of the new Alp du Zwift so we can uh, take a look at that as well so let's go over there and check it out but before uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel that helps me get products like this in so I can do reviews so anyway let's check it out okay so we're now on the Alp d'Huez or Alp du Zwift in Watopia so this particular map I access from the jungle route. So if you like running, uh, riding the jungle route, you'll be able to access it from there. You do have to be level 12. So if you're a lower level in the game, uh, you're not going to be able to access this particular map um, unless you maybe do a group ride and the group ride does it. Ah, oh, someone give me a thumbs up. So the, the map oscillates for at least when I rode up it, I went a little bit past marker 15 and then turned around and came back. Um, the steepest section I think I saw was 13%. There might have been a 14 or 15% grade, but uh, that was about as steep as it got. Um, it is a long climb. Obviously, this is you know one of the toughest uh, climbs in the Tour de France. Um, it is an uphill finish. Uh, but the they really did a great job. Zwift did a great job with the map. Um, there's lots of stuff to look at. Um, right now, there's looks like there's twenty little almost twenty five hundred people riding Zwift, and it looks like a ton of people are actually on this course. Um, there's some pretty fast uh, climbers as well. You know, I, I consider myself a pretty good climber. And these guys are passing me pretty hard there. Um, but I think you're going to really enjoy it. There's little animals and things like that that will pop up. A lot of birds, at least what I saw. And then as you get closer to the top, from images I've seen, you'll start seeing snow and things like that. Um, if you turn around and come back down the mountain, uh, it's super fast. Um, I was able to get up to 55 miles an hour. And I know that if you go over 50, I believe, you get a little bonus in Zwift. Um, but this is definitely going to be one of those rides that people are going to ride a lot. Uh, just because it's uh, cool and, and the tour would be neat to somehow uh, make this stage uh, something that people could ride during the tour. So I definitely plan on this year when the tour is going on, uh, assuming that this is in the tour, uh, riding this uh, the day of. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, so anyway, uh, you can fast forward on this if you'd like uh, to see. And again, I only went to the stage or the waypoint uh, a little bit past 15. Then I came back. So you can see how fast I'm uh, moving downhill um, near the end of the video. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Again, please subscribe to our channel and check out GearMasters.com. Thanks so much.